Okay, so first thing you're going to do for this is just work on uh, pelvic floor exercises, but try and engage your core in a way that's going to throw in your deep core muscles and hold you in position. So if you can take your hands down for one step, uh, just on the edge of the step like that. So if you're doing this at home or anything, you can basically use any, anything to just raise you off the ground. You can do it from the floor, but it's a little bit harder. So uh, just, just relax yourself in position, and then what you're going to do is take a break, uh, lift your head slightly, just to straighten out your back. Take a big breath in, and while you're doing that, try and blow your stomach out. And then as you breathe out, you take all the air out, tighten up your tummy, and try and pull your belly button down towards your sphincter and pull up towards your belly button at the same time. So you're trying to pull those two things as tight as you can and just breathe normally. And then breathe in as you pull your tummy back out again. So just fill your belly up with air. And then breathe out to pull that air out. Try not to curve your back too much. Just use the muscles to contract towards one another. Abs nice and tight. Hold it, try to breathe normally. Try not to tense up your shoulders. That's it. And take your tummy back out again as you breathe in. And again. That's it. So you can just keep doing that. Try and continue that for about a minute to two minutes. Just in and back out, always holding on the contraction. Then take it out as far as you can, take a rest and back in again. That's it. Really just work on engaging those core muscles so that you can hold it in position. That's it. So you just continue this for two or three minutes the first time. Try and extend that up for four, five, maybe six minutes. And then you'll be more in a position to hold yourself for slightly more advanced exercises. So this time, it's very similar to the last one. If you can just take your hands in the position that you would have been in, so you're more or less in a box press position. And what you're gonna do is try and take that tension. So you're gonna pull your tummy in towards, uh, in and down the way and you're going to try and tighten up your sphincter to come up the ways. So if you're trying to hold in something at the bottom end, so hold that as tight as you possibly can, but then relax your breathing, and then you're going to take your right arm out and your left leg out at the same time and try and extend as far as you can and hold, and then slowly bring them back into the middle again without rocking, try and keep yourself as tight as you can. Then the opposite hand, out in front, Stretch it as far as you can and hold, and then take it back in again. That's it, and just keep that going. Other hand. That's it. So, all you're trying to do here is re engage yourself with these abdominal muscles just to hold yourself in place. Hand a little higher. That's it. Nice and tight, nice straight lines back into the middle. Good. And remember to breathe each time. Try and set yourself a set of reps. So you're going to do 10 each side, take it up to 12 each side the next day, take it up to 14, 15, 17, until you can do about 30 on each side comfortably. Then take a rest after each one, try and do that three times through. And once you can do that comfortably and hold it without shaking, you'll know that you're ready to move on to something more comfortable.